When paramedics are racing to an emergency, they know cardiac arrest is one of the toughest calls. Every second and every treatment counts. Paramedic Elena Campo is taking part in a massive new study. Every ambulance is equipped with a study kit. Each kit directs first responders to randomly give a patient whose heart has stopped either a lower or higher amount of a life-saving drug. What we all hope to learn is the best possible treatment for cardiac arrest patients. In this case, it's the optimal dose of epinephrine. Epinephrine, or adrenaline, is a decades-old medication. It's given intravenously every three to five minutes. The drug works by squeezing the blood vessels, helping stimulate blood flow, which can help restart someone's heart. But scientists don't actually know the ideal dose. Researcher Dr. Steve Lin wants to find out how much epinephrine is too much. Well, there is some evidence that there might be very high doses can, can harm the brain because you squeeze the blood vessels so much that it starts to decrease blood flow to the brain itself. Is it okay if you take a look at this? Sure. Body? A stopped heart can also cause brain damage on its own, raising a key question. Is there a way to optimize uh, survival as well as long-term outcomes? Lynn's trial involves paramedics in parts of BC and Ontario. The goal is randomly treating nearly 4,000 patients, a process that could take six years. Survivor Dan Shire feels it's worth the wait. When his heart stopped in 2016, paramedics gave him epinephrine. He now has lingering memory problems and welcomes more research. There could be a tendency that they uh, are erring on the side of giving you uh, as aggressive a treatment as possible to save your life that moment. Campo hopes the eventual findings give more patients on the brink of death a better chance at a full life. We know that this is a crucial study. It could change um, treatments for cardiac arrest patients across Canada and possibly worldwide. Lauren Pelly, CBC News, Oakville, Ontario.